Hey guys, welcome back. Cat here. Uh, I have been playing The Sims for uh, for a while now, uh, with no mods at all, no custom content, and no mods. And I I finally broke down. I got the uh, Cats and Dogs expansion, but I still haven't tried downloading any mods yet. Uh, I am one of the old players from The Sims Online days, and we had mods for that that made it uh, more adult. So I thought I would go that way and I was looking at all the different mods available and came across this uh, GamePressure.com and they have the 50 shades of The Sims so it's got all the uh, 18 and over adult modifications. So I'm going to get what I think are probably the, the most common or most popular uh, mods. So first I'm going to get Wicked Whims and reading about this it looks pretty cool and it uh, looks like they just updated it a few days ago. So we're uh, getting the absolute latest version. Um, I went and looked and I have uh, the Sims version 163136. So I should be good. I don't know what the difference is between these two download options. So I'm just going to take the first one and hope for the best. Uh, again, for those of you that have never downloaded mods, you're you're going to figure it out with me uh, because I have never done it for The Sims 4 either. So, yes, I'm 18 or older, and then some. Good, good, good. Download is located at the bottom of the page. Okay, so this is all the different things we're going to get with the mod animated sex undressing and strap-ons autonomy okay so they uh all right i'll have to look at how the game settings for autonomy affect that too oh good layers have come that's nice oh they can get diseases now so that'll be interesting uh new activities uh they can get pregnant of course uh, 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 oh, there's a fertility treatment now. Oh, Lord, she's going to get her period now. I'm not sure I love that. Uh, that was one of the realism things I could probably live without. Um, let's see. Whoops, lagging a little here. Clubs, I don't have get together, so that won't matter. React, different reactions. Nudity. Naturism, exhibitionism, new underwear, window peeping, <laughs> take pictures of naked sins and sell them online. All right, really? All right. So, well, I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Um, I guess we don't actually need anything more. Let's just do it. So, thanks for downloading. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's just throw it on the desktop for now. And it's looking like it's going to take a little while to load. We will be back in a minute. All right, so we got that. And it uh, seems like the perfect complement to uh, the Wicked Whims mod is Ho It Up, uh, where she can actually uh, be a prostitute and um, skill up, <laughs> which I think is going to be awesome. I think that's going to be her career. Uh, so, yeah, you can do that to pay the bills, you know, whatever, I guess. Uh, top up your home budget by prostituting your sim. So... Uh, definitely going to grab that as well and uh, we'll be right back um, and we'll go through the uh, unzipping and where you put it process just so everybody can see that in case you, like me, have not done it before. Okay, so we got um, both of the zip files. So here we go. We are going to extract... Uh, 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 uh. Extract files. And I guess actually we do want them to go right on the 
desktop. So that is Wicked Winds. Where did it go? Really? All I got was a video? Oh, did it do it all separate? Oh, shit. We went in full license. Oh, it did. Okay, here's the mod. Installation instructions and their licensing crap. So that's what you get when you unzip it, so... Alright, so I guess that's what we need out of that. <coughs> now, hold it up, we will... Extract here. Okay, so again, I should have made folders for him, I guess, because it just drops everything on your desktop. Uh... Animation package shit. Shit shit shit. And it's all separate items like that. Stripping package. <laughs> Up here of a JJ protection package. Alright, well we got that, so that's good. Uh alright, so I guess that's everything that came out of that. Now my understanding is that it all goes into documents. EA Games, The Sims 4, Mods. And you see I have nothing in here. Apparently this is a default file that's already in there. Now, honestly, I don't really know what out of... We don't need the zip folders anymore. I know that. Let's get rid of that. <clears throat> but I don't really know how much of this stuff is supposed to go in there. So let's go back and look. Uh, how to install. Let's just look at that real quick. After downloading the mod, right click and dip extract here. Oh, I probably should have just extracted it right to... Extract here. Select the mods folder or files and right click and select cut. <coughs> and Okay, shoot. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I did that right or not. Maybe I can just do this with Wicked Whims. And let's see, what are those files? Those are TS4 and package files. These are all TS4 and package files. I bet those should have been all in a folder, too. Hmm. I'm going to go back and get... <coughs> if I can, there's probably a ton of shit in here. Um, I think I'm going to unzip the pull it up one directly into the mods folder. Let's see. Where is it? TS4. Hold it up. Okay. And now we'll do extract files. And I want it to go to Documents, China Current, Sims 4, Mods. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's see if it worked. Alright, so firing up the game, and we will see if 
I did it right. I'm not really sure how I'll tell right off the bat until I actually get into the game, actually. <clears throat> I don't know if it'll make any difference to the choices in Create a Sim. And think about that. We'll see. Alright, so apparently it did work because we have got uh, some custom content popping up right off the bat when the game uh, finishes loading. Stripping pole, up your JJ, pull it up mod, and the wicked whims. Okay, so it looks... I don't see anything under script mods. I hope that's right. Make sure that mods and script mods are enabled in your game's options. <clears throat> okay, so we'll say that that's okay for now, but now I want to go to game options. And what is it? I need to allow script mods. Mm -hmm. Video, music, gameplay, game cam, other. Script mods allowed. Okay, use at your own risk. We've been warned. View custom content. Okay, good. Apply changes. And I'm going to restart the game just for the hell of it to make sure. So they warned me that it might make my game crash. And it did lock up for a minute, but it looks like it's going again. So we'll see. I guess probably the, uh, the script part is what makes it all work. So hopefully we pick that up this time. This should be kind of cool. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm pretty easily amused. I think this is going to be pretty funny. And it might make for some interesting uh, challenges and experiments. And all right, so it did. It picked up uh, both of the scripts, one for each mod. So it looks like we're good. I don't know if I probably shouldn't have done them both at the same time, but it looks like we're okay. And both mods worked. So let's see... Let's see if there's anything different in Create a Sim. This is going to end up being a long video, you guys, probably. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's just randomize a little bit, see if anything interesting pops up. Sepalma Wabasi, Benusa Kinnad. Ooh, I'll turn that down. All right, so the clothes so far are all looking pretty. The Vaz Standard. Humboom, I don't know, that might be new. I don't remember seeing that before. That might be a cat's and dogs G thing. Right. And a I don't remember What's it that? saying if there were any new clothes or anything that go with these mods. Let's, let's see. Some different makeup going on there that I don't remember seeing before. Uh, oh, makeup. Alright, let's take all the makeup off. some cats and dogs stuff. 
but nothing from the mods. So I'm thinking that's probably just all going to be gameplay based stuff. presets just to <clears throat> kind of get something going fairly quick here she doesn't really well she's going to be a, a hooker we well i can always fix this stuff later and and dress her up more but now let's see mac what's this this i wonder if this is from the mods what did i get Hoe it up and uh, wicked whims. So I don't know where this this might be custom content that comes with it. Huh. All right. Well, I like the lipsticks. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a couple new eyeliners too. So. That might be. So maybe we got some custom content with that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to go crazy trying to make her perfect right now. I can always come back and play with her later. So full body something. Let's see. Oh, so we did get some new. This is all new stuff. Huh. It's all pretty uh, modest for adult expansion packs. I wonder if that's, or adult mods, I wonder if that's where it came from or if it's um, cats and dogs stuff, maybe. She's cute. All right, so we'll start her out fairly sweet and innocent, but she is going to go down the tubes hard and fast. Uh, so we'll call her Downward Spiral. <coughs> All right, and so now, <coughs> excuse me. So serial romantic. This none of this stuff actually looks like it's changed yet. But I think clearly serial romantic is the way to go. So she's alluring automatically. Now traits. These are all looking the same. Is that true? She's romantic, uh -huh. she's self-assured, <laughs> bueno, bueno. <laughs> and, 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 non-committal. <laughs> uh, right. Good enough for now. All right, so we got her in, and let's see. Um, trying to remember the cheat to give her some money so we can check out the building. There we go. <clears throat> see if there's anything new in the building stuff. I'll give her a million simoleons to start with. That should just about do it. And let's see.
some new c content, but I think this is probably cats, yeah, cats and dogs stuff. I don't know that we'll see much new from the uh, from the mods. Bar stool. I think all this country <clears throat> country themed stuff is from the cats and dogs thing. Doesn't look like um, yeah, cats and dogs, maritime mirror. No, yeah, I don't know. This maybe it could be that the Sims updated and added some stuff. I know that's cats and dogs. It's got the cats and dogs thing. Yeah. All right, so I guess we're not getting like, you know, the crazy sex bed. It's just going to be how you use it that um, will have the adult options. So won't bore you with building a little house to get her started with. I will get her uh, set up with a place to live and then we'll come back and look at career options. Okay, so I was going to wait to come back until uh, I had her house built and could start working on her new career. <laughs> um, but I did find some new stuff in the building menus. So uh, under wall art, they're, they're painting the posters, I guess it's called. Um, there's a bunch of new stuff from the cats and dogs thing, of course. But there, there's stuff from our mods and... It's so you can control where people are allowed to be nude and where they're allowed to have sex. So they did give you some uh, ability to, um, to control that to a certain extent. You can um, have sex on or off by the room or by the lot. Um, and then you can um, have ones that are invisible or that actually show and put a sign on the wall um, to either allow or disallow so i thought that was kind of cool um making her just a basic house to get started with lots of lounge areas to hang out get her little kitchen done working on the bedroom now um but i wanted to show you that so i don't forget um that even if you do have the mod you can turn it off uh, for your for your whole lot if you wanted to and just have uh, some of the other options that come with the mod, I guess, uh, besides having the free sex going on everywhere. So anyway, uh, that is that. going to continue to decorate, and we'll check back in a few minutes. All right, so got a very basic house started um, just, just to get started. Um, Want to check out the new options. Let's see. Wicked. Fertility treatment, check period tracker. Let's see what that does. Ooh, all right. So, oh, okay. So this tells me what version. That's how I check what version I'm running, I guess. All right. This is your Kaya period tracker. Menstrual cycle, your day five of your cycle. Next PMS coming up in four days. Next period starts in five days. So she only has PMS for one day. That's not bad. Uh, most fertile day coming up in three days. Next ovulation. Thank you for using a Kaya period tracker. All right. So that's that. Let's see what else we got here. Show bills information. That's not new. All right, so let's see if there's anything new under find a job. What was that? All right, so jobs. This is all stuff that goes with, I think, the pets thing. Retail employee. Right. Let's see. Criminal. 
No, that's not on there either. So apparently it's not an actual job. Oops, I entered into the criminal career and didn't really want to, but that's all right. Um, so I guess we've got to meet some people before she's going to have the opportunity to do much. So let's travel real quick. Uh, 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 travel. All right, so let's see where we want to go to. Where's the bar? Is there a bar? Nightclub, here we go. All right, so we are at the nightclub and oh, there is somebody here. Let's go introduce ourselves. Friendly, let's be friendly. Oh, Mortimer, isn't he? He's married too. It's awful flirty. Seraphie, I am Marty. Isn't it pollution? The borrow pond, the Bruja, the Let's see. Flirt is right up there on the first menu, of course. Oh, look at all the different choices. All right, so this is where we get into it. Um, all right, so personality, fake personality archetypes, attractiveness, change all sins, attractiveness, actions, those are the same, wicked, naturism, talk about nudity, body selector, random sims like Mortimer Goth, I'm not sure what that means, settings, oh, here we go, wicked wind settings. Nudity settings, sex settings, pregnancy, relationship, settings, control, headline effects, experimental mode, more information. I'm going to leave all the settings default right now. Main truth, huh? What else we Maybe. got? <coughs> Friendly, romance. Blah, 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 blah. Ask about attractiveness <laughs> likes, act about dislikes. So, and we're already, you know, she's already flirting with him pretty heavily, and we just met. And he is uh, married, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so. Personality archetype. Downward spiral shows signs of the hero and lover personality archetypes. Hero sims are eager to demonstrate the courage to prove their worth and confidence. Lover sims crave intimacy, lived to experience pleasure, and are very passionate. Alright. She's telling some jokes. I didn't even check to see if auto will and all that was on. <laughs> Let's see, express passion for romance. Barbie taxi, watch you. Hado, bade. Quips drift swing. Hey, see. Yes. All right, so he's a lover too. Don't a baby. Let's see. We'll ask if he's single. I'm pretty sure he's married, but that may not matter. Persuasion skill. That, I think, is new. And Mortimer is married. Acquired the persuasion skill. Let's look at the new skills. So, let's... Uh, doesn't say what they all are. Let's see... What else we got going on here? It's probably all the same. Persuasion skill. Persuasion helps immensely when trying to influence Sims' beliefs and behavior against their mind. Start by trying to impress Sims with your real or fake personality. <laughs> ah, all right. Oh, he's cute. Let's talk to him. Oops, I didn't mean to pause it. Good 
Gallery. Yes, and our clue. Ah, Carenza. a flush. <laughs> Ma, the Yamba. Be flattering. So yeah, the uh, all the, the romantic options start ah, so, so. right off the bat. Express being courageous. Mention pleasure-seeking nature. Let's see if he likes that. <coughs> what else we got? What else we got here? Yazu, Pimpus. A little bit. Pubic hair. <laughs> Let's dye and stylize his cubic pubic hair. He should be default black natural trimmed. <laughs> All right, I guess I can build them just the way I like them. So, let's see what else we got. <laughs> uh, he's ignoring me now. Oh, she's over here with this guy instead. All right, what's, what's his pubic hair look like? He's mad about something. Must be flattering. <coughs> and then, oh, let's change his underwear. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, whoops. I didn't really mean to do that, I don't think. I thought it was going to be a menu like the um, pubic hair thing. Alright, so these are the underwear he has on, and those are actually fine. So we'll just leave his underwear the way it is. I wonder if she has sexier underwear. I didn't think to look at that when I made her. I'll probably have to do this again and start over and actually make a a good sim that looks good and it's actually enjoyable to watch. <laughs> oh, hurry up, stupid underwear. Maruda. All right. I don't know what he's so angry about. Uh -uh. Let's uh -uh. see. Personality. Fake personality art type. Uh, Andrew. Uh, Baru Shinizi Buffet. Balco? She's now faking her personality. Balco. While talking with Balco. Mitchell, Balco. certain topics Balco. that are related to his personality Balco. will show hints and help determine it. Balco. Make sure to first learn Balco. Mitchell's Balco. Kalani's personality before Balco. trying to fake it. Balco. Oh, well, I didn't do that. So she probably won't Chibi. be successful. Chiefs Kalaban Gajoba. Yeah, he's oh. getting madder. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. All right, let's see. Maybe I can flirt with him and make him feel better. Nob. Nope. Nibs Bakuma. All right. Well. So there you have it. Uh, let's see. Can I? What can I do? Oh, here we go. Click on myself. All right, here we go. So attractiveness, wicked, pubic hair, all of that. Okay, so that's to change my own stuff. Prostitution. Here we go. Prostitute for money. Offer lap dance service. <laughs> All right, let's prostitute for money and see what happens. Attractiveness alert. Uh-oh. Jay Huntington. Where is Jay Huntington? Uh-uh. Oh, okay, so here we go. So she is uh, now prostituting for money. And Mortimer likes her. <laughs> the one that just told her he was married. 
Oh, and there's his wife. Oh, now everybody's getting... What's the, the pink? Ah, they're all getting steamy, apparently. Receive the JJ oral service. <clears throat> well, let's see what Bella thinks about that. appears to be watching and not actually minding. So, oh, now she's getting on. Uh -oh. Well, I don't know how uh, <coughs> much the penis bug matters because you couldn't actually even see him when he was naked. So, all right. Oh Lord, and there's all kinds of stuff going on here. <laughs> all right, so and I earned some civilians for my prostitution service. Mortimer says, "Call anytime you want someone to please you." She acquired the naturism skill, I guess, just from getting naked in public. All right, and so there's lots of hints that what the customers are saying says what they want. So basically they either want to go down on her or they want her to go down on them. And so that seems to be the thing. So offer Latin service. Let's see what this looks like. Will this girl take her up on it? <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> Alright, click on sofa and select give lamps to lap dance to J. Where's the sofa? There it is, probably. Let's see, can I do it here? Is there a sofa upstairs? Oh, bummer. No sofa anywhere? Wow. All right. So that's how that works. So I can't see her actually give a lap dance. There has to be a couch. She's going to have to have a party at home. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. And then I'll be able to try out all this stuff. So anyway, that is the uh, Wicked Whims mod and hoe it up. So she does have the option to prostitute. To pay the bills. Uh, lots of other cool things in here that I am definitely going to check out more. I am going to make a new sim and uh, start over with her. Um, you know, make one that looks good and um, and uh, you know, do it right. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you guys. I had never downloaded a mod before, so got to do that. Got to see how to do it, where it needs to go, what it looks like when it works, and you start the game so that you know you got it and it's going to work. Seems to be working great. The game is running fine, um, and it looks pretty cool. I, I think this is going to actually be a lot of fun. So uh, watch for more videos with the Wicked Whims mod and hoe it up. And uh, if you enjoyed this, if you found it helpful, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you guys soon.